Now, when we heat ice, when we supply heat to ice, it changes to water. It melts into water. So what happens here is a solid ice, this is solid ice, changes into liquid water. We see the solid ice changes into liquid water. This process of changing a solid into a liquid is called fusion or it is called melting. So changing a solid into liquid, maybe solid ice into liquid water is called fusion or melting. This fusion or melting takes place at a fixed temperature for every liquid. It takes place at a fixed temperature and that temperature is called the melting point takes melting point of that liquid. Like in the case of water, the melting point, I'll just write MP, the melting point is 0 degrees Celsius. But however, in the case of wax, wax melts at 63 degrees Celsius. Means solid wax changes to liquid wax at 63 degrees Celsius. It melts. So what is fusion? Changing of any solid to liquid is called, fu is called fusion or melting. What really happens during a fusion? Now during fusion we require heat for fusion. And now here are the molecules of water. Here we have molecules of water. And because it is a solid you have already learned that these molecules are not free to move. There is a very strong force of attraction between these molecules. There's a, there's a force of attraction here between these all these molecules. So the molecules remain in their position and in their place. But when heat is supplied to it, here we have heat is supplied to it, these molecules gain this heat they all gain this extra heat and they get more energy. They begin to vibrate faster. So as they begin to vibrate faster, they are able to overcome this force of attraction. The molecules become more free. They break this force of attraction and then we get the liquid. And notice here now, the force of attraction has become less this force of attraction and the molecules have got a larger amount of energy from the heat. All this heat energy, all this heat energy is taken up by the molecules. The molecules move faster, they have more kinetic energy and as a result a solid changes into a liquid. So let me repeat again what happens when a solid changes to a liquid. We have these molecules which are very tightly held to one another. They are not very free. They are tightly held to one another. And when heat is supplied to this, these molecules begin to gain more energy. And as they gain more energy, as they gain more energy, the force of attraction between the molecules begin to weaken and because the force of attraction between the molecules be becomes weaker the, the, the molecules are now more free to move and then they form the liquid. Now in the liquid if you notice the force of attraction between the molecules is weaker and the molecules are more free to move. So this process of changing a solid into a liquid is called fusion and it takes place 
at the melting point of that liquid. 